late 60s, is doing it again. Liverpool this week has a band at number one in the charts and several more in the top 30. But the Mersey sound of the 80s is a far cry from the old Beatles suits and shaggy mop haircuts. Pop music and Liverpool became synonymous in the early 60s thanks to the Beatles, but it wasn't to last. In the 70s, the record companies turned their backs on the small bands, preferring instead to promote the million-pound supergroups. Many of Liverpool's bands went bust. It's unemployment in the 80s which has brought hit music back to Merseyside. With nothing to do, youngsters started reaching for guitars, and now strings of Merseyside bands are fighting their way into the charts, including the current number one, Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Also doing well are bands like China Crisis, Flock of Seagulls, Icicle Works, and Echo and the Bunny Men. There's so many people that are unemployed there, and there is a tradition, well, from way back in the 60s, of uh, being in a band, so to speak. So if you haven't got much to do, you tend to form a band and do it like that. Whether or not in 20 years' time the Beatles' memorabilia will have given way to Frankie Goes to Hollywood shops is less clear. But either way, the new Mersey sound is finding success which would have made even the Beatles proud. Robin White, ITN, Merseyside. And that's the news at 5.45.